John King for this brawl post fight at ACB 70 alongside the victorious Adam AB. Victorious now, but you were in a few minutes ago. Obviously, the scores read out. Uh, you know, your opponent Danny Mission was the winner. But, you know, before it, it was changed, what, what was going through your mind? Uh, obviously, I was emotional. I thought I'd won. He thought I'd won. Uh, my corner thought I'd won. Uh, thank you. So I just thought it was going to be one of those yeah. things that just weren't meant to be. Uh, yeah. And then everyone was like, whoa, 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 no, no, no. And I was like, oh my God, my heart was going. <laughs> and they said, you've won, you've won. So then they announced it and then like all my corner was like, yeah. And then, you know, my heart has gone even higher, you know. Yeah, yeah of course. <coughs> but <coughs> coming into this one, obviously, there, there was a lot of bad blood between you two. You were fought before, obviously, you, you were the loser that night. How much does it mean? Was it more than just a fight tonight? It was, it, you know, Danny brought the best out of me, but like I said, it, it was more than just about me, this. Yeah. This was about, like, obviously, what happened last time, it was a devastating loss, first round. Uh, and then he'd obviously come out and said some things which were personal, <coughs> uh, which just motivated me more. And I'm representing more than just myself. Uh, yeah. when, I, when I fight and when I compete, I compete for cystic fibrosis, people with conditions, and I aim to inspire them. And every time I fight, I do that. But when he's trying to play mental warfare, you know, and he, he's apologised for it now, but... That just motivates me more. Uh, the mental warfare I tried to play worked in my advantage because when I speak to people and parents with cystic fibrosis who've got kids with cystic fibrosis, when I speak to other people going through battles in their life and they message me and, you know, and they thank me for what I do, I understand the importance of my role and my job and that's yeah. why I want to be, I would, would have been humble in defeat. I want to be humble in victory because that's what I represent, you know, it's, this isn't just about my story, yeah. uh, and I aim to inspire everyone else. So, the mental warfare worked for me. Yeah, <coughs> obviously, you know what you're doing <coughs> is very inspiring. Back to the fight for a second. You know that first round seemed to be going well for you, but then near the end, you clip with spinning back fist went down. You, you seem pretty hurt, but you know not on your way out. What was going through your mind at that point? Uh, I recover fast. I was I was gutted that I was winning the round and then I got rocked right at the end. Yeah. And the thing is, I was thinking in my head, he's gonna he's gonna throw something here, yeah. and then he span, and it clipped me, and I was like, you knew that was coming, you fool. <laughs> uh, so that was going through my head, but I recovered. I was I was around straight away. <coughs> you know, I stood up through the whole corner, and I was ready to go again. I took like 30 seconds off at the start because last time when I fought him. And he wrapped me with elbows, I was on the floor and he was standing above me and I got up too fast. I should have just sat down by my time for a bit. So I learned from that, you know, and Danny Misson has brought out the best in me. Yeah. Uh, and he has made me improve as a fighter from three years ago. Yeah. You know, you fought three times on this show, you've won all three. What's next for you? I, I, I know you're looking to stay on the show. Where are you looking to go next? ACB Australia. I want to go there, yeah, well, that's my aim. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they can fly me out to and I can fight yeah. in the sunny Gold Coast uh, with my friends. Uh, that, that's where I'd like to go next, but yeah, yeah. <coughs> I just want to keep raising the profile and keep improving, keep developing, and I enjoy every day, you know. I wake up on a Monday and I love what I do. Uh, I love what I represent. I love the people around me, the people I get to spend time with. And one thing that's come from this fight is I've seen how good the people are around me. Yeah. I've seen how much they care about me. I've seen the support, the support they show me. And, you know, but over 120 people come here today and my teammates have made sacrifices. My family have made sacrifices. My friends have made sacrifices all for me. And... When I see that, and I see the love they show me, that it's a great feeling, you know, and yeah. that was one of the, the best things that have come from this fight, that no matter what people say or the tough times, they would have been here for me if I won or if I lost. You know, everyone around me has been great. <coughs> They've all, you know, shown great support, whether <coughs> <coughs> on the internet making sacrifices that's the best thing that's come from this fight. Whether I won or lost, 
it's been amazing and I would like to thank them uh, and everyone knows who they are, you know, teammates, family, friends, you know, they know who they are and I really appreciate it. Yeah, obviously, you, you'd like to spend some time with them now. Any plans tonight to celebrate the victory? Uh, I'm not really a party guy, <laughs> but I'm sure Steve might buy me a pizza. Uh, we might go and celebrate, celebrate with one of them. Yeah, ve veggie pizza, because we're vegan. No, no murder to animals. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm just going to enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, have a good night. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks.